I will find you, and I will kill you. <laughs> ICA Trading Facility, 1999. Oh, we're trying to stop Y2K. I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not <laughs> like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the handler program. Agents mm -hmm. and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. Fair. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Hi! I'm Agent 47. Hi! Tell me, what did it feel like taking lives? Random. Disordered. That's such a great answer. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? That's such a great Maybe answer. I'm not the only one being tested. He could say like, oh, it makes me feel good. Or like, oh, it's, you know, satisfying. Random. Disordered. And I just, it's such a great, that's such a great answer. Because it shows he's not actually like into it. He sees it as kind of something that just seems necessary, but like unfortunate, maybe? It's necessary, but not enjoyable, right? Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate, antisocial, apathetic and unresponsive. Exactly, no nobody will miss him. Promise, but Perhaps nobody will miss him. Possibility where others see limitation. Mm. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. does nothing. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Wait, he remembers nothing? What did they do to us? Okay, we would then go into training. We would complete the training. And then this. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They can Such a be huge a result of previous training. Mm -hmm. Power like that, with no moral restraint. He could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents mm -hmm. have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... <sighs> Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. <laughs> As he aims a gun Enjoy. at the wall. <laughs> We then do a bit of freeform training. I nail it perfectly because that's who I am in this game. And then we come to this. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough, deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. Did he commit but mass Frank murder? If the earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Mm -hmm. Very well. I'll be watching. So will he, by the looks of it. Did he commit mass murder? Did he just go, did he snap and go Bob Ross? He was done with killing, so he started painting trees instead. I think maybe he snapped. Maybe because he has no moral restraint anymore. So maybe he felt so bad about it that he repressed it. I also did the final test already. And then we get this. And Diana gives one of the best lines that I, I, in the whole prologue for me. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves a dog. Get out of my sight. So what happens now? He basically set up a really complex thing for 47 to complete. Or not. Stay on your own and on the move. But he completed it. We will contact you. And so does. He played his hand and he lost. There you go. He cannot touch us now. Good. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. Not 20, baby. Quite right. Here it comes. I should tell you. Oh, wait, maybe not. dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind. No name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. And I love it. All That's right. not a name. <laughs> 47. All right, and then this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be sniping people. We're going to be poisoning food. And serving it to people. They will eat the food. 
and then they will die. Much like this, because it's really quick acting poison, apparently. We will also use Tiger Fugu Ocelatos and ACOG scopes and rubber ducks. Did you see that? We will use gloves. We will be the thing that we will be the reason why it's not safe to go back in the water. We will drown people. You hooked yet? <laughs> we will go to the house of a famous cellist. Nobody ever came close. As they play beautiful music the art. and kill them. <laughs> Classic bit of garroting. Your actions have changed the world. I wonder if that's possible to do. To shoot through a mirror. Powerful I've never tried that. By your hand, but by the same token, others have risen. Why do I recognize that voice? Do you realize what Oh no. Oh, did we work for the bad guys? Maybe we worked for the bad guys before. Maybe that's where we have a barcode. To Seoul? So we're going to Korea, also Paris? I mean, that's the first destination. I have seen the consequences. I have felt the cost. Is that Bradley Walsh? That's what Not Bradley Walsh, Bradley me. Cooper. Maybe he's just bullshitting because he's the villain. Maybe he's a secret sidekick that we end up ha we end up meeting because we keep getting like a leg up through different missions and suddenly, boom, he's there and he's like, it was me all along helping you. And then now I need you to do a favor for me. And then you got to kill this guy. He did nothing wrong. I just want him dead and I've done so much for you. Or the guy's just a super villain, right? Maybe that's what it is. But we're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face. <laughs> we're going to go à Paris. And we're going to go to the Paris or a Paris fashion show. Mission briefing. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris fashion show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Mm -hmm. Remember all this chat. Sanguine owner Victor Novikov. Okay. Victor Novikov. Fashion mogul. And his partner, mm -hmm. Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel. Victor and Dahlia? A couple on the global fashion scene and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Mm-hmm. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago. What's the difference between a model and a supermodel? An enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Ooh. Scrupulous and opportunistic. Oh, tasty. disastrous security leaks all over the globe. <laughs> when Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, oh, we're getting involved Iago in Ukraine. Gave them access to the plant security network. You son of a bitch. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. There's shit. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret. I'll explain Iago what that is in a sec. During the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. Mm hmm The Sanguine show will be swarming with security. Okay. And Victor local secu local agency security guards. But despite his Bodyguards, posture, highly trained. He's nearly the money man. The real target is Dahlia Margolis. Beautiful okay. and brilliant. Fair. She is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Okay. Two targets, a highly public event. Loading First area, glance, parking area. An impossible task. Mm -hmm. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. So we have to kill two people straight I off the bat. You to prepare. Victor Novikov and Dahlia Margolis, the leaders and operators of Iago, a bunch of little shits that are running around causing some havoc on the world stage. They're doing a Paris fashion show at the Sanguine, and we have to stop them selling a knock list of MI6 agents. A knock list basically is what a, a spy agency or undercover agency will have, which gives the real names and alias names of undercover agents. So if I went undercover as John Smith, it would have my real name next to John Smith so that they can keep track of who they are. So we do not want that list getting into the wrong hands. It is vitally important that does not happen. So planning, starting, oh my God, we can choose the location. No, we can't. <laughs> okay, that's cool. 
You know what I really want to start? Is the red carpet. I think that's a great idea of where to go. The suit we're going to use. What screams fashion show? Definitely the clown, right? <laughs> it's got to be the tux though, right? This is Fancy Pants McGee. There's Fancy Pants McGee over here. It's got to be the tux. We also get three coins. You know, very rich. Agent 47. Let's start with professional. Let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves and go master just yet. There's a news reporter and a cameraman. You should put yourself between the camera and the reporter. So like completely get in the way and, and have video Paris evidence of us being there. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. Ooh. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight. While Pr Dalia Margot Don't is look so awkward, 47. For a group of Iago's top customers. Second floor. Okay. Now, That's American second floor, right? Keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity. But I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. There you go. You see, timeless look, T. It's not predictable. It's a timeless look. To ignore. And with newly appointed head design. Cut! Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Real considerate. <laughs> you mind staying out of my shot? Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Jeez, you believe that guy? I hate these snots. And go. Cecile, I'm standing outside Palais Dave. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, go sorry. Away! Sorry, I didn't no, realize no, you were recording. This sorry. Lindsay, let's, just, let's just go for a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you now. We're going to do this slow and we're going to do this calculated. Okay, I want to see if there's anything around in the gardens. I want to know what's what everywhere. I want to know every nook, cranny, and crevice and butthole of this place so that we can slide in where we need to and and shoot our shot when we need to. That style is something you can buy. It's bullshit, basically. No offense. Hmm? Sorry. Hey, could you give us just like five minutes, please? Yep, sorry, sorry. I've been told that a lot. The best thing about this they ask for some time to like speak and then through the bushes you just see this guy glaring at you <laughs> once you've fallen down a flight of stairs you've fallen down them all <laughs> so um i better get back in okay he's gonna be an option to take a um, well, I mean, to take an outfit from you know my name, so, uh, there's nowhere to yeah. put him though yeah, yeah, I got it. we can take him down for a security outfit if we need it so that's good to know okay so there's nothing over here Ooh, there is Okay. I wait tables. Oh, please, God, bring me massive tips tonight. Just need to kill some more birds. Need to kill some more birds. Okay, he's another option. So he's he's a waiter. We'll be able to get into the kitchen areas and stuff. I assume we can't get in there unless we're staff, right? So I'm not gonna try. I don't want to piss him off yet. Uh, nice touch, even and gents. All, but uh, tight security means. I'm not letting you through. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't expect it. Don't worry. Keep doing a good job. Hey, have we got a clone? You know? Have you ever thought about doing uh, some work as, like, brothers? Because we could, we could do it. If that's obstruction, get out of here. Oh, okay. Just a nice offer. That's fine. I guess he doesn't want to make any money. You gotta hand it to Novikov. Man has a flair for the dramatic. Secret exchange at the pavilion, very cloak and dagger. Who's the contact again? Max Decker of the Russian FSB. Max Decker. I don't know. Some very Russian name. Well, must be pretty important for Novikov to take time out during the show. It's pretty exposed for my tastes. Oh, Man, good. Don't worry about that. We've got enough on our hands. Novikov is meeting Max Decker, a senior agent in the Russian FSB. Small world. The FSB has been mounting a criminal case against Novikov, but Decker's boss, FSB Section Chief Nikolai Kamarov, committed suicide only last night. Oh. Perhaps not. Either way, this could be a chance to catch Novikov away from the spotlight. Can I just point out how the, the, the guy that works for the Russians is the only one that doesn't have a Russian-sounding name? <laughs> I'm just walking past. I'm just a... I, lo I love fashion. Mmm, cravats. Mm, yeah, love them cravats. Hell yeah. French for Thai, by the way. <laughs> so this area where they're meeting is only like 80 meters away. Sorry there. Oh, do love me some black dresses. Mm-hmm. Fashion. Okay. I think I think they bought it. I'm going to have to ask you oh. to stand back. Oh, it's sorry. Okay. You have a good day, sir. Yeah, you too. So to get through there, we'd need to be security. So that could be where the security guard out there on the other side comes up. Oh, wait. I 
I'd like for you to leave us alone, maybe. Oh, yeah? sorry. Does that sound good? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, I've yeah, left something over there. See there. Can I help you? Sorry, no, no, I just left something over oh, here. Don't worry. Can I ask that you maybe leave us alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I left something over here. Oh, oh it, wait, it was over here. It was over here that I left it. Hey, do you mind? Kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Something right here. I don't think they're going to go anywhere with that. That's fine. All right, let's try the front door. Let's go in the front door. Let's see what we got. We can come back out to the garden and get the security outfit if we need it. We can also cause distractions with these things, I think. For clarity, by the way, in case you've not played Hitman before, the black dots and the white dots on the minimap denote people that would notice you doing things. The guys with the white dots are the ones that would recognize you in a disguise or know that who you are and basically would bust you. The ones in black are civilians, but they would, uh, they would still react to things like this. Thankfully, most of the people around here don't have dots on the minimap, right? There's two guards up there that are highlighted, and then there's the guy out there that's highlighted. The rest of them wouldn't give a shit, apparently. They're probably all just drunk. Wait. The murderer can't be this guy. He was too busy being photographed everywhere, right? It's such a lovely night. I love the pomp and pageantry of it, you know? On a night like this, who would murder? You know what? This is a nice palace. This is a nice, this is a nice stately home. Wait, can we go that way? Sir? Sir? That's, I, you know what? Maybe we throw in the whole killing people for money thing and we just become a photographer. Is that not a great photo? Perfectly timed with the like, the pose? I'm a regular... I don't know any photographers. I'm a regular... Henri Cartier-Bresson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe my career needs to stay as a killer. And then we have a guy that's going to kill you in your sleep. Maybe not even in your sleep. 47 would model that better. If I get the chance, you bet your ass I'm going to do it. <laughs> if I get the chance to put on a, a fashion outfit and become one of the fashionistas, one of the models, you bet your ass I'm going to do it. That is Viktor Novikov, head of uh -huh. Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Uh -huh. Quite the resume. Yeah. I just wanted to say this to your face. Oh? You're finished, Victor. The ground is slipping. Drama. I've seen the case Kamarov and the FSB are building against you in Moscow. Oh! Espionage, profiteering, insider trading, quite the page turn. I also know about the VIP lounge. What's really going on up there? Oh, that's the second floor auction, right? Hey, Mr. Tux. Stop hitting on me. I'm listening to people. But alas, I have a show to run. To be uh -huh. continued, I'm sure. Oh. Wait, would Valerie help us, maybe? Valerie would want him dead, right? Maybe. Wait, is he going out for the meeting? We need to follow him. He might be going out for that meeting with Deckard. Okay, he's going out to the garden. Okay, there's a there's an electrical socket there. We could electrocute him if nobody sees us do the tamper with that. We've been breached. There's a mole. One of your little spies, no doubt. Valerie St. Clair claims to know about the auction. Told me in no uncertain terms. Damn it, Dahlia. Later might be too late. You better be right. Mr. Novikov, Decker here. I'm at the show. Oh. I like my well, Decker's we arrived. We predict a pile up on the freeway, could we? So you have a spot in mind, or? Okay, fine. We'll wait in the lounge. Is there a problem? Novikov is busy. Told us to stay put and enjoy ourselves. One of his security staff will come fetch us when he's ready. Tell okay. you where we're going? Pavilion, Northwest Gardens. Northwest. Said it was away from prying eyes. The meeting spot. Waiting out in the outdoor lounge area for one of Novikov's guards to escort him to the garden pavilion. Oh, no, this is a secure area, isn't it? Sorry, sir, not allowed to let you through here. Oh, okay. Why has that guy got a gun? Just, just out of interest. There's a guy in there with a gun. Did you see that? You're security, right? Aren't you supposed to deal with that? Okay, silent treatment. I see. Do we try this without going for a disguise yet? Although if we're spotted, we will be... They will be angry. But there is a there is a fence here to hide behind. There's no way he doesn't notice us when he comes walking down there, right? So maybe we have to wait to do this. I'm just gonna 
Hmm, yes, quite the fashionable watering can. Hmm, yes, yes, this is, yeah, it's very fashionable. Very, oh, I know. There's no one down there, right? No, good, okay. We go this way. All right, we can sit here for a minute. Is there a way down here? Oh, wait. Examine the firework schedule. Let's go. What According do we got? to the pyrotechnician's schedule, Novikov plans a grand fireworks display at the end of the Sanguine Show. Okay. Not a bad distraction. Right. So I'm guessing that's to cover the sound if we need to, like, shoot someone with a loud gun. But honestly, I'm planning on being a bit more subtle than that. But still, it's good to know that that exists. There's also... Oh, sh 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 We're fine. Never in doubt. We're still on for the private meeting. Here he is, look. Here he is. I'm hoping he won't see us behind here. If he does, I just have to say I was tying my shoe, right? And then we leave. There's nowhere to dump his body right here. You know what? I'm going to feel safer doing this with a security outfit. Let's get back to the entrance. The only thing is, where do we put his body? Because it didn't look like he was. it was an easy body to hide. Shit. Still no answer. What's going on up there? Oh my god. They, they know. They, they know, okay? They know what we're up to. They've caught Haley, and we're next. What? It was a mistake to come here and rub Novikov's nose in it, Valerie. Please. Please, let's just leave right now. Please. No, Plot thickens. no, 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 no. no. Victor and I are going to negotiate. Oh my god, what are you talking about? Negotiate about what? Valerie, you've been trying to discredit him for years. And uh -huh. now? Showstopper's going under, Liza. <sighs> what can I say? It's all about the blogs now. Okay. We blackmail Victor and we save the magazine. Oh. Look, we still need solid proof that Victor and Margolis are in it together. And if okay. you've been caught, Liza, I need you to get up to that auction and finish the job. Me? N no, no I, I can't. Hillary, you can't ask me to do that. I can, Liza, and you will. We've got two. You can just start a blog, yeah. <laughs> if not for me, do it for them. Oh, God. So she's going to try to do what we're trying to do. <laughs> this will get you inside. Your Wait, what? story is as follows. You represent the Van Orton Tobacco Company, looking for a way to discredit key members of the National Cancer Coalition. Just get me some evidence and then get the hell out. Okay. Liza, I trust you. Now get so going she's got an access card on her. Yeah. Valerie Sinclair, legendary editor-in-chief of Showstopper Magazine, has discovered Novikov's secret and plans to blackmail him. And her young assistant, Liza, is about to enter the auction undercover. The poor girl is clearly out of her depth. We should relieve her of that pressure. It would be the right thing to do, right? To relieve her of the pressure of her job. Penelope? Oh, she was on the phone! Oh, no! Oh, shit. Okay, um, we're gonna have to snap her neck. I hate to do it like this, but... I, she's got to go. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. Well, sh that timing was something else. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. Valerie? <laughs> Hello there. Hi. She was so tired that she just fell over and broke her neck. It's a crying shame, really. Imagine the other side of that phone call. Penelope? <laughs> oh, she was on the phone. We're going to have to snap her neck. I, she's got to go. It's not ideal. But it is what it is. Just the idea that she actually heard. It's like, oh no, shit, she was on the phone. We're going to have to kill her. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, we're just going to close all the possible doors. You know, the less attention directed to that area, the better. Well, we're off to a cracking start. We have access to the auction at least. But unfortunately, the showstopper is going to have to make that 201 jobs on the line. Okay, let's get that security guard outfit, shall we? Make sure he's not also on the phone. Imagine if we just, we, we, we get like an MO, like a calling card of like, nobody knows who Agent 47 is, but the calling card is they're always killed while on the phone. Can he, oh, can that guy over there see what's happening over here? Do you reckon that waiter can see us? I'm hoping not. Where did the bodyguard go? Wait, what the f Oh, he's here. Oh, perfect. Wait, there's nobody here, is there? There's nobody around here, right? 
No, because we got rid of the reporters. Oh, those guys are here. Mm, yeah, keep walking this way. Good man. Good man. Doing a good job. Now, just pick up the phone and we can. this can all be over. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not leave any evidence. Let's pick up the gun. Uh-oh. Just, just sit down. Just sit down. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, he will see us. He will see us. Um, 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 we're going to have to snap his neck. <laughs> He's going to have to die. So we drag him this way. We drag him over here while the waiter's on the phone. We drag him to behind here. We we drag him through. Wait, the waiter's going. The waiter's going. The waiter's leaving. Finally, some good fortune. Oh, he's just standing over there now. How <laughs> how long do we have before this guy wakes up that we just subdued? <laughs> they don't wake up unless someone wakes them. Oh, thank God. Okay. Wait. Oh, shit. I didn't need to kill poor Liza. The poor girl didn't need to have a neck snapped. <laughs> Pay some respects to Liza, chat. The unnecessary collateral damage of this whole thing. Oh, wait. She's she stood up again. Okay. <laughs> Such a sloppy operation. I love how that guy just does not care. He's like, I think I see someone doing shit, but that's not my area of security. Like, I, I man the gates. That's happening somewhere else. All right. So she's looking the other way. The waiter is looking at his phone. Vroom, vroom. Got to park my car that looks like a dead security guard. Don't mind me. Just doing some regular old parking. Okay, we're nearly at the bin. Next time he goes for a smoke, we're doing it. I'm surprised no one's found Liza yet. I mean, I could f*** this guy up, but I already killed Liza, okay? I know I could have subdued him and put him in there, but I feel like I've caused enough people bad days at the moment already, right? I've got to level out my karma a little bit. All right, he's going for a smoke. Shit, I took the disguise. You know what? That might work out. Don't mind me dumping the naked body. Oh, there's so many flies. Oh, I'm so sorry, security guard. I'm not built for this job. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Security. <clears throat> je suis security. Je, je travaille dans le... Oh, no, he... Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> je travaille uh, ici pas. <laughs> je suis désolé pour Lazar. Uh, elle est... Elle est mort. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't actually reveal that, though. <laughs> oh, you see, this is why I prefer the tux. We just don't fit in here. We, we look so out of place. I feel like there's more eyes on me now than ever before. They'd have better dress security inside, surely. Although I just saw another one walking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, no, he stood there. That's fine. But wait, why is that door open? That door shouldn't be open. Who went in here? All right, nobody's gone in to see Liza. That's fine. She, yep, she's definitely still there. Dreamer plays single hand. I forgot that was a thing. I guess left, because I'm left-handed. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just the drunk security guard that can't walk straight. We're okay, though. Good afternoon, sir. Under control, man. Yep, I got it. Don't worry. Okay, he won't recognize us, which is good. Uh, this seems fine. Everybody's fine with us being here. That's good to know. We need the bodyguard disguise, so we need to work out where this guy walks and how. We could get him with the distraction as he comes past. And then grab him here. But the problem is, if that guy happens to be going there at the same time, that's not going to do it for us. Okay, these guys don't know, don't know who I am, so that's good. What we could always do is try and lure him down the stairs with a cheeky coin. I mean... <laughs> Nobody found Liza yet. I'm just saying. <laughs> we had, <laughs> if we just left him down here, it might be okay. <laughs> it is our first mission, you know, which <laughs> we need to leave room for improvement. Otherwise, where's the, where's the, you know, the story arc of improvement going to come from? Everyone knows that's Liza's coke room. Exactly. Nobody bats an eye because they're always going to the bathroom every 20 minutes. Helmut. What? Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. Mm -hmm. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine. I'll, I'll be up after the show. Y yes, ciao. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing, Helmut. He got louder. Guy looks like you and he knows Dahlia. Yeah, I know, right? 
How much like us does he look? Yeah, Dan, it's me. Oh, the face paint might oh, be something. Uh, you're watching the live feed. Actually, I'm I'm doing this thing for Dahlia Margolis. Mm -hmm. It might take a while. Don't ask. He's a model. You can be a model. <gasps> of course, you'll get your ten percent. So we basically have to systematically take out everybody from this area one at a time. Oh, we. I'm past my okay. Point. So here's my theory. No as long as nobody sees us, we could kill him, like take his it, body, and dump him over the edge into the water. But this way, Someone might hear the splash. I can leave the game but by then, we're already him. The only thing is, isn't where the hell do we get the face paint from? Kiss <laughs> him. What if we kissed the model? <laughs> what if we started, you know, we were looking for a life of Hitman contracts and we ended up just finding love. Isn't that a much better story at the end of the day? All right, I was going to go to kill him, but the other guy's coming back. So I'm glad I didn't do that. And it feels like only yesterday. Oh, really? I feel like you're talking to me. Am I really doing this? It looks like it, doesn't it? Why do I feel like mm -hmm. I'm playing with oh, It's difficult here. to kill him in this spot, though. We might come back for Helmet. Oh, no. What? 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 Sorry. Sorry. We're trespassing. Sorry. Sorry. Wait, why are we not allowed on the pier? Oh, because there's people with guns down there. Oh, is that a bodyguard? Does he count as a bodyguard? Like, I have to get him on that side. Because if we get him on the east side, there's a chance Helmet might see us. Cross your fingers, because I don't know what all the visibility points are here. This could go horribly wrong. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh. All right, okay. Uh we're just a bodyguard. We're just a regular human bodyguard. Steal the helicopter, crash it into the fashion show. Problem solved. <laughs> no, it'd be just my luck. That, oh, fuck. It'd be just my luck that um, they the, the what like two people would make it out alive, and it would be both of the people that are uh, the ones we're supposed to kill. <laughs> I might come back and do the helmet thing later, though, just for fun to go onto the, the the fashion show. Everybody knows that we're not a bodyguard. It's like they've actually planned this detail. All right, he's turning away. I'm gonna go this way. We're going to jog. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. He's going that way as we go this way. Like a glove. This is going so well. Only poor Liza has been collateral damage so far. We haven't had to kill anyone, which is good. Also, we could definitely kill... We could definitely just trigger this and make... Uh, Nikolai's thing looked like an accident if we can't kill him in his meeting with Decker. Mr. Decker, Mr. Novikov will see you now. Mm -hmm. I will escort you to the rendezvous point. Thank you. Lead the way. Okay. Will do, sir. Sir? Are you coming, sir? Imagine the other godded bodyguard shows up after you take Decker and is like, what the fuck? I told him to stay here and wait. Yeah, if that phone call to Valerie wasn't enough of a red flag, I don't know what is. Let me know if I... Oh. All right there. Yeah, we're good. Okay, good. Decker, are you coming or what, bud? Let's go, man. Come on. Shit, they're going to notice us. Wait, he knows who we are. How do we take him to him if he already knows that we're... This is not the way. This is This cannot be the way. Oh, we've got to escort him to the pavilion. Okay, that's better. I was going to say, if we escort him to actually meet Novikov, Novikov's going to be like, Hi, Decker. Who the fuck is that with you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know I know the way through this palace. Don't worry, Decker. Decker, where the fuck are you? Listen, you're going to need to hurry the fuck up or I'm going to stab you with a screwdriver. Okay. Don't give me that. Let's go. Double time. Novikov won't wait. Decker. So I was in the bathroom before and I heard these guys talking about... For the love of God, man. You walk like a snail. I am not prepared for this, by the way. <laughs> I have no idea how I plan to kill him while he's at the pavilion. My only hope is that once Deccan and him Escorting have had the Max meeting, Decker. 
Mr. Novikov's order. It's been expecting you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Thank you. My only hope is that when the meeting's over, Decca and his bodyguard walk away and uh, a Novikov stays. That's my only chance. You have a gun and a screwdriver? I mean, that is true. We have nowhere to hide Novikov's body, though. And there are bodyguards on every fucking side. Oh, this is a nightmare. We're going to dump him over the side, is what we're going to do. It's right here. Do you not see the fucking thing? Wait, where the fuck are you going? Oi. Oi. You have... What? <laughs> well, it's a good thing we have the whole electricity and water thing, I guess, right? <sighs> what the it's, it was his own. I told him to hurry up. I fucking told him. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh my god. That's so frustrating. Wait, what? Uh, what the hell is a bare knuckle boxer? Oh, what? hell yeah. The sanguine boss, Novikov. He asked if I could make him one. Oh, that. Yeah, shit. I forgot. It's a cocktail, his favorite, apparently. The palace owner, Mr. Laren, left us the recipe, but I think I left it down in the basement. I was going to copy it out and laminate it, but, you know. Eh, whatever. Who mm -hmm. cares? Booze is booze, right? Nah, I should really go look for it. Viktor Novikov's favorite drink is a rather obscure cocktail known as a bare knuckle boxer. Sounds like a chance opportunity to get on Novikov's good side. Yeah, after Decker decided he was done with it. Jesus Christ. I'm just saying nobody can see this, right? I, I may have been stood in the water when I did that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I may have been stood in the water when I did that. All right, at least we know what we're doing now. It's going to be speed run, and we're going to get Decker to meet Novikov this time. They're, they're having their chat. While they're having their chat... Wait, where's the, where's the waiter? Oh, he's over there. Free tables. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ha 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 ha. I'm supposed to be here. Ba, 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 ba. Just a normal waiter doing normal waiter things like picking up a crowbar. Classic waitering. I made this new cocktail. It's called the crowbar. <laughs> it involves a crowbar. <laughs> mm. Oh, sh wait. Oh, f okay. <laughs> I'm a regular human bartender. Don't worry about me. I'm a regular human bartender that doesn't know where he's going. Don't mind me. Sorry, I'm late for my shift. Excuse me. You know what's coming, chat. I'm sorry, it's unavoidable. We need access to that auction. We're not going to snap her neck this time, okay? <clears throat> Come in. <laughs> We're going to drag her, like, her body kind of this way if we can. So that as people open the door... I mean, that's pretty obvious. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> Question is now, is anybody going to see this? That guy will, unless he turns around. He's turned around. All right, let's trigger this anyway. Oh, no, we need the screwdriver. Wait, where was it? Oh, it's here. <clears throat> well, it's confirmed, sir. The FSB charges against you have all been dropped. No oh. one is mentioning Kamarov's unfortunate death. Or his alleged ties to the CIA, of course. Good. Uh-huh. Good. That's the end of that, then. I knew our nameless friend would come through. Very good. Oh, oh okay. Like this, this worries me. I mean, who is this guy? What kind of man enters a heavily guarded government building, kills an FSB section chief, and sets him up as a U.S. spy <laughs> without even breaking sweat? Where'd you find this guy? Anyway? Jesus. See, that's the thing. He found me. Mm-hmm. He knew the FSB were investigating my past. Okay. And he knew all about Yago, using models as Trojan horses, everything. A guy like that. Let's just say you let him do most of the talking. Yeah. Still, the whole dossier. Some price for a day's work. 
Uh -huh. Well, I'll be damned, Philip. You and Dahlia actually agree on something. <laughs> <laughs> come on, back inside. Okay, so we go outside. We come down to here. Maybe turn off the. That's you know what? That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> Didn't even know you could do that. I thought I was stood in the water. Is why it happened. I would have done it again. Just straight up right there. I would have done it again. <laughs> is he going to come outside here? What made him come out? We did hear him have a conversation with Valerie inside. Maybe that was what triggered it. So we can blend in as a waiter and hopefully he'll come talk to her. And here he comes. To be continued, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. And then I'm pretty sure he comes outside and walks across it. Oh no, is his security guard going to go first? No, he's going first. Oh, chat, here we go. Here we go, target number one. Oh, what a horrible time accident. Time to find Dahlia Margolis. What a horrible accident, huh? God, imagine that. Leaving a loose wire out. We can be Helmut Kruger. Oh, we should, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? We should, shouldn't we? We should helmet it up. Wait, for that, we need the security guy's outfit, right? Do, 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 do. Don't mind me, just a random waiter running through the crowd. Do, do, do. I just realized I left my oven on. I gotta go. I'll be back in time for the close. See you later. Bye bye. You can dock my wages, it's fine. Oh, she's, she's gonna see, isn't she, if we get him from here right now? Oh, I could have done it. The moment I do this, she would look around. I don't think I want to do that. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? I think I heard something. Might be a false alarm, but uh, I'll check it out just in case. There's a suspicious waiter stood here as well, not moving. <laughs> don't know if he's got anything to do with it, but in case I die, check him out. He's bold. Okay, we dump him in there, we take his disguise, and now we're security guard. Oh, I heard there was a I heard there was an issue with uh Victor. Is everything okay? You guys cleared that up? Alright, good. You know, just just for future, we should probably turn the power off. Oh, you already did. Okay, good. Good work, guys. Good work. Wait, is Helmet here? Wait, Helmet isn't here. <laughs> Where the fuck is he gone? If he's here, we have to kill him. And then take his outfit and then shove him over the edge. Oh, the other guy's coming. I was going to kill this guy and dump him in the thing. Well, subdue him and dump him in the thing. So that there's no witnesses for when we get helmet. Just guarding the petunias, okay? We're just guarding the petunias. Don't worry about it too much. Okay, he's going completely the opposite way. This guy's getting out of view. Oh, hi. <laughs> Okay, they're both in there. I'll be gutted if we can't do Helmet. So do you reckon, like, he went to see what happened with Victor? Well, if he's not up there, then it means we can kill this bodyguard on this side. The little shimmy down the stairs, by the way. Fucking love that. <laughs> can we place him off the edge of the pier? It should be fine, right? I think I can, I think I can do this. I'm going to grab the disguise first, of course. Uh... Uh, you know what? I'm sure this will be fine. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> we now just need to get to Malia. Malia? Not Malia. Dahlia. We need to just get to Dahlia. So we need to go upstairs. We've got Liza's pass. We have a bodyguard outfit. There's like multiple reasons why they should let us in. So we should be okay. Wait, I need to get the firework schedule. So that we can advance that as well. And I have a feeling that's going to be more to do with Dahlia because of the picture that was associated with it in the menu. A little bit revealing. <laughs> there we go. All right, good. This mission has been flawless. Flawless, I tell you. Sorry, guys, I'm just running in there. I really need the bathroom real quick. Sorry. I'm one of the bodyguards. Let me through. Like Thank the you. gear. Yep, yep, yep. Is that...
Okay. What are the fucking odds? What are the odds? <laughs> okay, we're going to put the gun in there. We're not car Oh, we're carrying other illegal stuff, but they won't be visible because they're pistols. He already walked the runway? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. So will it be weird if we go and do it again? Oh, I thought I'd saved the helmet angle. Do we just go to the runway and just walk it? Wait, we don't have the face paint. Mr. Kruger, need a touch up, I see. Let's go! No We're not getting sit any back anger. and relax. It won't take a second. Let's go! You look fine. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, fine doesn't cut it. Not um, business. I guess this will be uh, 47, are you okay? I guess he decided to just sit backwards on the chair now. I love the transition, by the way, of adding the makeup after we go around. Brilliant. And then we can arrange a secret meeting with Dahlia, kill her, and get the fuck out of here. But <laughs> I don't like that because the chair didn't move, it sounded like his spine snapping as he turned around. Oh. All right, we are Helmet Marco. No, that's F1. Helmet Kruger. I mean, who doesn't want to see two lots of helmet, right? Come on. Come on, that that walk, that flowing that flowing coat. You get a second bite of that cherry, right? Coercion. Perfect timing, Kruger. Get the out there and knock him dead. We're going to do it. Is only an illusion that we are all controlled by sinister forces. Where's my cue? Where's my cue? Vices and weaknesses. Where's my cue? But, <laughs> like the pleasant design suggests, we put on a brave face. A mask of normality. Uh-huh. To make us appear happy. Ladies and gentlemen, Kruger. Successful. And above all, in control. But deep down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> who really is? Huh? That's the music. Well, thank you. And good night. No, what? No! Hmm. Can we pose? Can we pose? We can't pose. Oh god, I'll give you I'll give you one more for the people in the middle. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> more energy, more passion. Woo! We did it! We walked the runway! Now we call Dahlia. Somewhere secluded. That was the end of the show! <laughs> and then and then the helmet comes out and he's just like, It's not the end till I say it's the end. <laughs> Music has to start up again because you don't fuck with helmet, right? His dead body. Well, his body is in that wardrobe behind us. Helmet here. Remind me again. Where were you supposed to meet? You don't sound like Second him. Second floor, Voltaire Suite, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now? No. No, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, then come see me right away. Well, I just did. Oh, God. we can walk it again. Dah Dahlia said we had to walk the catwalk again. You cool with that? You got any problem? Got a problem with it? No? Cool. All right, here we go. This... This is much sadder. Nobody's looking. <laughs> Even the photographer's not taking a picture. <laughs> that, that doesn't really hit the same. Yeah, we're, that's it. We're already out of fashion, right? Like, the fashion industry moves. Yeah, it's so five minutes ago, right? It's not avant-garde anymore, you know? Okay, second floor. What was the suite? What was the suite we're supposed to do? 15 seconds of fame. Wait. Isn't that, isn't, isn't that what we're doing? <laughs> isn't that the one we're actually doing? <laughs> do, 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 do. Totally normal helmet coming through. Be twins, bro. P you wish. That is Dahlia Margolis. Helmet. Supermodel turned spy master. Uh -huh. Please, have a seat. 
How am I fucking gonna kill her? She's... She's, like, we're right in front of the whole... We're right in front of the whole... view of everyone. <laughs> What? No! What does he think? No, no, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. <laughs> she wasn't looking! I didn't think she'd notice! She didn't see me pick it up! Yeah. Uh, uh, um. mm -mm. Okay, uh, sorry, yes. That was flawless. <laughs> Mission failed successfully. You rock, Helmut. Yeah, you rock too, unnamed security guard number four. <laughs> There's no fucking shot this works. There's no fucking shot. And just for style points, Mr. we're going to take the helicopter out of here. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Nobody out here recognizes us. This is perfect. Good night, Vienna. Or Paris in this case, I guess. Au revoir, Paris. Je t'aime. Yep, that's me, Kruger. <laughs> that timing by was perfect. Oh, we didn't even have the meeting with her. We should have had the meeting first to see what they were going to talk about. There could have been important information. We didn't even get the knock list. Like if they were going to sell a knock list, surely it would have been in the premises somewhere. So we do not want that list getting into the wrong hands. It is vitally important that does not happen. We didn't take the knock list. Someone could still sell it. So there's a couple of holes in this. But overall, we absolutely smashed it. Flawlessly made our way in as a waiter into the like the back, the loading area. Realized the door was locked, pulled a 180. Got the screwdriver, triggered the electricals, which they didn't notice us for. We then go to get a bodyguard's outfit. Uh-oh, we missed Helmet, so we can't do what chat wants to do and do the catwalk as Helmet. We then just go back inside, find out that Helmet's just walking past as we're coming past a secret toilet. We go into the toilet, we kill Helmet, we take his phone, we go onto the runway, we call Dahlia, who says, go on the runway and then come see me. We go on the runway a third and disappointing time. We go up to, go to Dahlia... She doesn't notice us pick up the poison off the desk that she has with her for some reason. And then she does notice us with our back to her, put it in the cup. So we punch her in the face, snap her neck and get the hell out of there in a helicopter for style points. 10 out of 10. It was all down to the timing of Helmut walking back from the runway as we were coming past. I noticed it was him and I was like, is there a room nearby? I was like, yes, there's a toilet right here. Quick whip out the coin, throw it then you know the rest. I mean, at least that means he hadn't been to see her, right? But he was probably on his way to go see her then or hadn't called her yet. That was a hell of a mission. Can I just for a second point your attention to the five-star rating? All of you naysayers talking about, oh, I don't know how you made that one work with skill and precision is how we made that one work. And luck, pff, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Luck had no business here. And we had no non-target kill penalty because this time around, we didn't kill Liza. Oh. This was Novikov. This is the guy from the voiceover. How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. 
This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. Oh, <laughs> shots fired! The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Oh! That's badass, to be fair. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. Leak the name. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. I like this guy. <laughs> He's so much more unhappy now. You've rained on his parade and more than the weather. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. So has he then hired us? Because he said no loose ends. Package secured, no loose ends, leak the names. Which means that he's responsible for us fighting. This is what I'm saying, right? He's like, he's like pulling the strings from behind the scenes. And he's giving us like information to help us out, but we don't realize it. So some point towards the end, he's going to become a much bigger person in this, I think. 